today at Ebisu Circuit. I've got something special to show everyone. I've just bought a Japanese van that we found abandoned in the forest here. We're going to have a look over it and see if we can find anything out about the original owner. So this is it here. As you can see from the overgrowth on it, it's been here for a long time, but hopefully it's unlocked. Let's have a look. We can clear some of these bushes from the car, get a better look at it. Looks like it's been here for quite some time. We'll see if it's unlocked. Oh, it is unlocked. Ah, it's also beeping. Seems like, seems like the battery in it's good. So the car is a Toyota Town Ace. It's a passenger van, but we'll have a dig through, see if we can see anything about the original owner. I always like car archaeology. I reckon it would be cool with an aftermarket steering wheel, but looks like we've got a TV, DVD player, car is area, nice Japanese brand. There's some, uh, I don't know what's going on over here, someone's had a brown stuff explosion. Probably, probably something to do with this. I guess the previous owner liked sugary fake coffees. Uh, looks like we've got a Torino floor mat. We've got our ATC card reader, which are for the Japanese tolls. It's got a nice carbon surround on the dash here. Just shut the door so we can't hear the uh, cars outside are a bit loud. We'll see if the DVD player works. Be pretty cool if it does. Uh, it says, please insert appropriate disc. None of the buttons seem to work. I guess the disc that it's got in it is inappropriate. Soft, oh yeah, <laughs> That's a, that is an inappropriate one. All right, uh, I guess this is the remote for the TV, which doesn't seem to work. There's a socket in there. Hey, it's a 10 millimeter. I guess the previous owner's probably spewing that they lost that. Uh, what else we got? Got digital climate control, very nice. Got more brown stain. What else is in here? Uh, it's like, oh, it's like the light off the door. It can stay in there, I guess. Um, oh, previous small Max coffees. Oh. What's this? Another 10 millimeter. Man, previous owner must be spewing that they lost that. Uh, what else have we got here? We got some cup holders, which is pretty cool. It's got nice little armrests that go up and not back down. It's got a cup. What's that? Oh, it's 10 millimeter. Man, the previous owner of this must be spewing that they lost that. It's a pretty cool van inside. We've got a nice big. There's a sunroof for the passenger, for the driver, which is cool. And there's a sunroof for the passenger, which is pretty rad. I guess we'll jump in the back seat. Have a look. It's got a nice bit of space in the back. Easy grab handle to jump in. It's pretty cool. It's got air conditioning controls for the back seat as well, which is nice to see. Nice luxurious van. Looks like we've got more of these coffees. Another one. Well, what else is in there? Comb. Last, oh, a double comb. The last owner was obviously very, very conscious of their hair. Um, what else is in here? Oh, there's a number plate seal. This is the little lock that goes in the number plate to make sure you haven't taken it off. I'm sure the owner, previous owner was obviously definitely not any illegal street activities with removing these sorts of things. Uh, we've got a 1 yen. So far that's 1 yen off the price of free because we found it abandoned in these bushes. There's a bolt. We've got anything hiding under the seat. Oh, we got... Hey, here we go. What's going on under here? I guess this is all part of the... To do with the DVD player and stuff. It all looks like stereo... Stereo wiring. I did also notice there's a few other wires under here. Maybe the original owner had some gauges or something installed. I think we'll have a quick look at the... Outside of the car, see what's going on. Outside of the car has a lot of stickers on it. I'm guessing the previous owner is probably a bit of a weeb, but it's okay. That, uh, these guys are a bunch of dickheads, you don't want to associate with them. And um, that looks like some, some drift team, some drift stickers. More freaking coffees. Good bit of space back here. Big stain on the ground. Hmm. Gearbox. RB20 maybe. Looking further around the outside of it, we'll have a look at the engine in a second. But it appears as though we've got some Advan Rally tyres on some nice five-spoke wheels. These look like they'd probably fit on a Skyline or something pretty well. It'd be nice for doing some rallying, so that's a good find. Got 
got some Toyota Camry power. Looks like it's got new ignition leads on it. Possibly one of these fittings looks like it's pretty new as well. It does have a bit of a slow oil leak from the oil pressure sensor at the back there. Should be a pretty solid car though. It's got some cool fog lights. So that about covers it. Hopefully we'll see everybody on the next video. And thank you for watching. I can't see with these freaking glasses on. <laughs> We're here today. We're here today at Ebbsy Circle. <laughs> We're here today, we're here today. We're here today, we're here today, we're here today, we're here today, we're here, we're here, we're here today, so we're here, we're here to keep saying we found damn it.